Here's the problem here. We have leaking water on the garage floor. You can see it going right there all the way over to the wall. Yeah. Okay. And then it's soaking here on this carpet here. Yeah. And it runs all the way across there. This runs all the way across the garage floor here. So the only things that would be suspect here would be the washing machine there, but I don't see any water up there dripping down no, off the ledge. The so that means it's usually whenever we see leaks anywhere, and we didn't really feel any water coming off of here, so it must have dripped down earlier, but as I look in here, this thing looks kind of filthy, but normally this is where we see our problems with air conditioners is there's a clog in the line. So this is the drain line, so all the condensation is supposed to go through this drain line down to the floor here and the way they did this one here is it goes down into the slab and it runs directly across the garage and it pops up outside so here we are outside and you can see it pops up out of the ground there and it slopes downward and it drains out a little bit you can see a little bit coming out because I squeezed just from me squeezing that, it sent some of this stuff out here. So now what I'm going to do is show you a little quick trick on how to clean this out without having to call your AC guy. Okay, so interesting enough, this is a float switch right here. And I am surprised that as backed up as this thing was with water, why didn't this thing fill up? Because the way the float switch is supposed to work is this backs up into the pan in there, and then this fills up right here, and it's supposed to trigger the, the the float switch in there to not work. So let me pop him off and find out why that didn't work. All right, so I'm gonna pop off the switch here. And I'm gonna look down in there and there's, there's like no water in there at all. Just a teeny, teeny bit at the bottom. So maybe it wasn't clogging enough to make it back up into the pan, but typically that's what happens. That's how you know that somebody didn't clean their AC filters is the filter will clog and it will cause ice to form on the, the, the coils inside your air conditioner. And that will cause an excessive amount of water to show up in that pan, which will cause it to fill up in this cavity here, which will make this little float guy rise, which will make your water, your AC cut off and you're wondering why is my AC not coming on? But that's not the case here. So. It looks like we just had maybe a minor clog in here, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to separate this right here. And now earlier, water gushed out, so we're not gonna be able to show you any gushing water, but that's what happens here. So, the water gushed out. We're going to take a garden hose now and stick it in here and just gush the water for about two or three seconds, and that's usually enough to clear uh, all the whatever is blocking this pipe. And this happens every few years, typically on uh, most ACs. Um, I've done it in the past before where we, you know, where you can get in anywhere here, you can put the hose thing in here, but you need to find a way to block off back here so that when you gush on the water, it doesn't just inrush into this way and go all over inside the air conditioner. So that's why here I just decided to pop him off and I'll plug the hose right in here and just turn on the water. Okay, so by the grace of God, this hose just just makes it inside here. Normally, we're stuck with a tube or trying to force it into a three-quarter inch PVC pipe like this. And so what I have to do is I use a hose where I've cut the metal end off so that you just have the bare rubber hose and that's usually enough to wedge in uh, to do the trick here. So he's wedged in there nicely now. I'm gonna go outside and turn on the water for a few seconds. Okay, so I turned the water on, and now we're coming over here to take a look at the, the drain here. And you can see all the sediment and stuff that's floating around, all that goo, everything came out of this line right here. So we've now cleared it out nicely. We're gonna go inside and check out, make sure that it's not leaking all over the place in there now. We're gonna crank it to the max now. Let's see what we got over here. Now you can see it's coming out really good now. See that? Uh, this brings up another point too is 
Let us know down in the comments below what you've done to fix any clogs you've had in your AC lines. We could share it with others as well. So normally when uh, people put these in there, these are there for a visual to let you visually see if the water is running down the pipe. You should probably change these out when once they're not clear anymore so that you can see if the water is flowing. But anyway, let's look inside. See how there's a little bit of sludge there? We're going to try to clean some of that out. Doesn't look that bad. The problem was somewhere further down the line here because earlier when we popped this off, it gushed out the water and it was stuck right in here. And all I did was squeeze this and it was just enough to send a little bit of the, whatever that slimy sludge was out the other end of the pipe there. So yeah, we see this all the time. We do this all the time. This is a great cheap way of clearing out your clogged air conditioner line without having to call your air conditioner repair person and pay $150. Because normally what they do is they'll come and they'll do something similar. They'll insert like an air pressure thing in there and it'll blow pressurized air through and it'll blow out on the other end. It'll do the same thing we did with the water. Okay, so now we're gonna just put this back in here. So now you can see the, see how the water's flowing a little bit right there? It's coming out of the drain line. Because now I've got the drain line at a, at a, at a running downhill at a slope. And this is required here to have it at a slope because it makes the water just kind of move down. And by the way, just so you know, most um, the modern codes now for the air conditioner is you're supposed to have a trap right here. That would prevent any, um, now in this case here, it just runs outside. But if this was in a condominium building, yeah. you'd be in big trouble because they usually have these running down inside the walls down into the sewer system and sewer gases can come back up or even worse, uh, you know, uh, gases and stuff from maybe another unit could come up in, in tears as well. So that's why they want to have a little trap right here that would keep water in there all the time that any kind of gases that are on this side would never make it back this way. But this is an old installation. All right, so stepping back and looking at it, you can see what we've done. We've cleared out this whole line all the way down and outside. And remember, looking at this, you can see it. It has the required slope to help send the water going down this way. Okay. All right, so here we are. We're going to pull this up now and look down inside. And now you can see we're not flooded with water anymore like we were before. Oh, by the way, if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up down below. It shows us that you like us. And be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. And when you subscribe, click on the bell icon next to it so that you'll be alerted to every time we upload a new video. That's it for this week, folks, and we'll see you on the next one.